so we're going to do chapter 4, Apply Your Skills 4-5. This is going to be a reconciliation of a credit card account. So for this one, we're actually going to use the uh, reconciliation button over here on the right of your screen in the banking area. So one thing that's important to note, the book includes uh, this document right here. So this is the actual reconciliation or the, or the statement, the credit card statement we're receiving. And so we're going to be using this document to, as a source document to do our reconciliation. So let's go ahead and click on the reconcile. Okay, so this is for, it defaults and it comes up as checking. We actually want to change that to American Express. The statement date, we can find up here at the top of our statement. Uh, that's going to be a statement period. So the end of the statement period is going to be your statement date, which is June 30, 2023. We're also going to be able to find the end, ending balance here on our statement as well. Let's go ahead and put the statement date in first. Ending balance. Our beginning balance is zero, which means we paid off our credit card last month. Or it's a new credit card, one or the other. We don't have any finance charges. We could have a finance charge with... Um, a credit card there could be a charge that could come along with our credit card that we would pay or uh, most likely bank accounts would have also have finance charges when we do a reconciliation we don't have any so we're just going to continue each one of these line items on this is supposed to tie with something that's on the statement so let's go ahead and take the first one for an example here so 6 June 1st 2023 there's a Bothell Pet Supply Company charge or expense. So let's find that on our statement here. And sure enough, we see it right here for $115.43. So in real life, you would you would take your, right? Not in the class, right? So we're trying to f learn applied skills here. So you would take your statement and you would tie out each one individually. So I look through it and it looks like all of these are included in our current statement. You can also see down here at the bottom right that our difference is getting smaller as we click these items. There is one uh, credit return item on our statement as well. So as we click this last one, then our difference is going to come to zero, which means we're reconciled. Everything that is in QuickBooks is also on the statement. We know about it, everything and we're checking all the boxes, so our difference is zero. We can go ahead and click reconcile now. It gives us an option so we can print a check right away. We can either print it later or create the check later or we can go ahead and write the check now which we'll go ahead and do. Click OK. The select reconciliation report also comes up. We're going to go ahead and close this and I'll show you somewhere else that you can find it. Right, So we're going to go ahead and close it. We'll find it later and print it off and use it for our submission. Pay to the order of is to American Express. They're not a vendor in our system, so we're going to go ahead and do quick add for them and say OK. Going to go ahead and include our memos as well, and it looks like we're done with our check, so we can go save and close. Make sure you have this print later box up to, uh, at the top in the middle checked. Okay, so now for the, uh, the requirement of this apply your skill, it's going to have us run the summary reconciliation and submit it through uh, through our software so to find it again what we need to do is go to reports banking previous reconciliation change the account to the American Express account we're gonna go ahead and select summary because we need a summary report we're gonna make sure to check the bottom radio radial button here the one on top is just gonna rerun a PDF file this one at the bottom is going to show us our reconciliation up to the point right before we did the check. Uh, the one on the bottom is going to show us that plus the check, right? Any any changes that have been made. So the check was, was created, so that will display the check as well. Okay, so here we go. So it looks like our check's on here. Our ending balance is zero, which is exactly what we want. We're going to go ahead and export this out to Excel. Here's our Excel file. We go ahead and save that um, as Chapter 4, A5 Summary Reconciliation in uh, an area that we can get to so we can submit our assignment. Okay, so now 
there's something else we need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then we need to run one more report. Okay, so we need to run the balance sheet standard report. And we're going to be able to find that under reports as well. Company financial down here, balance sheet standard. And we're going to change the date on this one to be June 30, 23. So that's what that looks like. And we're going to go ahead and export this as well. We're going to save this worksheet workbook to the area where we save our assignments, our submissions. So we're going to have two for this one. We're going to have the summary reconciliation and the balance sheet. So there's two locations in Canvas to submit these. Both of them are uh, chapter four A5 submissions. The first one's going to be as it is in the assignment, summary reconciliation. The second one's going to be the balance sheet. And that's the problem. We have completed the apply your skill 4-5.